don't understand. How could I have missed our sister shrine? <laughs> you stay here, Nug, as a bug in a rug. Make sure to bring me luck, okay? How could I have gotten lost? I know this mountain like the back of my hand. What? No signal? How far off am I? <laughs> What have I done? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. Why do I never know what to say? Why are you keeping secrets about me from Cassidy? It's not funny. You could have been hurt. How would you practice your head? What's up with you, Corinne? You've been acting kind of weird lately. What is this? Busy trying to get rid of the stinky smell. You never now, I can't trust you! You kept this secret on purpose! You lied to me! Wait, Quinn! Junior Ski Patrol about getting lost. It's better to stay in one place, try and stay warm and dry, and call for help as loud as you can. Stay in one place, <clears throat> try to stay warm <sighs> and dry, and call for help loud. <clears throat> <clears throat> been some bear sightings in the area, so stay alert and make yourself as big and as loud as possible and try to scare it away. <sighs> Come on, Corinne. One, two, You're safe. We were so worried. I'm so glad you found me. Where's Mom? Is Gwen okay? Mom's with Gwen, and they'll both be fine when they know you're safe. Come on. Thank you, Flurry. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Are you warm? Oh, so just oh, okay. Here. Just, just get the blanket. Please. Please. Get some hot water. You know which one? Feel warm? I'm so happy you're safe. Please promise me you will never run off to the mountains at night alone. I promise, Mom. Oh. I was so scared for you. What if a bear found you? I'm so sorry I made everyone worry. I promise I won't do it again. We trust you, Corinne. And what incredible work you've done training Flurry. She is a real hero. Without the skills you taught her, who knows how long it would have taken us to find you. And thank goodness you called out so loudly for help. Thanks, Dad. I guess I finally found my voice. <laughs> <laughs> you can't catch me, Flurry. <laughs> Let's get you warmed up with some hot tea. I can help with that. I can help, too. Hmm. Corinne. I'm sorry I did not listen to you that time you told me about the boy who was racist to you. Gwyn told me about the incident on the slopes, and I overheard him at the competition. I should have supported you better. I learned my lesson, and I promise to listen in the future. Thank you, Arnie. 
Come in. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad you're back. Why did you run away anyway? I didn't run away. Um, at least, I didn't mean to. What do you mean? Everything happened so fast. Uh, that mean boy hurt my feelings again, and then Cassidy showed up upset at me. Then, our argument made you fall, right in the middle of your competition. It made me so scared, and sad, and ashamed. <sighs> I'm really sorry, Gwen. It's okay. We have sister brain, remember? I know you didn't mean anything like that to happen. And I'm going to keep trying to nail the toe loop. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're not going to give up. Never. Huh? Hi. Hi. Um. Hi. Corinne? I... I'm really sorry I yelled at you. And I'm sorry for keeping secrets. Friends forever? Forever. <laughs> Your mom's Lunar New Year celebration was so fun. Yeah, and now we can keep celebrating at home. Wow, your room is amazing. And Gwen? Wow, I was so impressed with her routine at the competition the other night. I still can't believe you thought we wouldn't be friends because of her ice skating. <laughs> uh, I didn't like keeping the ice skating a secret from you, but I was afraid to lose you as a friend. I shouldn't have said that all ice skaters are mean. Gwen is an ice skater, and she's the nicest. I'm sorry I made you feel like you couldn't talk to me about it. It's okay. I know now it's going to take a lot more than ice skating to break our friendship apart. <gasps> Look! Mom said we can have these leftover snacks from the party. Mmm, Bako and Yango, awesome. <laughs> Aw, I missed you too, Flurry. In fact, I have a present for you. Ta-da! Do you love it? Oh, it's so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> and I also have something for you too. Oh, oh. Thank you, Cassidy. I love it. How did you learn how to write the calligraphy in Chinese? I asked your mom for help, and she taught me how to do it. I love it so much, too. I'm going to wear this ice skating. <laughs> I also have a gift for you, Cassidy. <gasps> wow, thank you. According to the Chinese Zodiac, this year is the year of the tiger. We found this one with our mom, and I thought of you. Mm -hmm. It will bring you luck. I put the rhinestones on it myself. Oh, thank you. I love it. <laughs> and Gwen, this is for you. <gasps> My necklace. I'm so happy to see it again. Flurry and I found it as we were coming down the mountain. Thank you. I have to admit, watching Gwen on the ice made me remember how much I used to love it. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I actually asked my mom to sign me up for classes. <gasps> That's really cool. I'm so excited we're going to ice skate together, Cassidy. rather be having a sleepover with tonight than you three. I agree. Me three. I mean, me too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I just realized something. What's that? I suddenly feel much more at home. There's so much love here. It makes this new room an even more special place. <laughs> this is going to be the best sleepover ever. <laughs> Totally. But you know what would make it even better? What? what? A dance party. <laughs> 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 oh.